Hi guys. Welcome to Minutes. Today we delve into an intense and gripping series that explores the depths of human emotions and the complexities of forbidden love. Get ready for Escandalo, Relato di una Obsession. Our protagonist is a 42-year-old woman who finds herself at a crossroads in life. She is grappling with profound emotional turmoil and overwhelming despair. The opening scene sets a haunting tone as Eines, consumed by her inner demons, walks to the edge of a cliff, gazing into the abyss. As the waves crash against the rocks below, Ines makes a life-altering decision. She plunges into the sea, hoping to escape her pain. The cinematography captures the stark contrast between the cold, unforgiving ocean and and Ains' desperate need for solace. But fate has other plans for her. Enter Hugo, a teenager who happens to be at the right place at the right time. Hugo, with his youthful energy and curiosity, dives into the water and rescues Ains. This moment becomes the catalyst for a complex and tumultuous relationship. As Eines recovers from her ordeal, she finds herself inexplicably drawn to Hugo. His presence becomes a beacon of hope in her dark world. The series does an excellent job of portraying the nuances of their interactions, capturing the initial gratitude that slowly morphs into an obsessive infatuation. Eines begins to see Hugo as more than just her savior. She becomes fixated on his every move, her thoughts consumed by him. The narrative cleverly shifts between their perspectives, giving us a glimpse into Hugo's life and his initial innocence that gradually gets overshadowed by Ayn's overwhelming attention. Hugo, unaware of the depth of Ayn's obsession, continues to interact with her, seeing her as a friend in need. Their relationship, while initially innocent, starts to take a darker turn as Eni's feelings intensify. The script does a masterful job of balancing the tension and the forbidden nature of their bond. The series explores the psychological aspects of obsession, delving into Aina's past to uncover the roots of her emotional instability. We learn about her failed relationships, the loneliness that has plagued her, and the desperate need for connection that Hugo unwittingly fulfills. As the story progresses, Eni's behavior becomes increasingly erratic. She begins to isolate Hugo from his friends and family, trying to create a world where only the two of them exist. This isolation is portrayed with a chilling accuracy, making the audience feel the claustrophobia of their entangled lives. Hugo starts to sense that something is amiss. The initial warmth he felt towards Eines is replaced by a growing sense of unease. The series expertly builds this tension, making viewers question the boundaries of love and obsession. In a poignant subplot, we see Hugo's parents growing concerned about their son's behavior. They notice his withdrawal and the unusual amount of time he spends with Eines. This adds another layer of complexity to the story, highlighting the ripple effects of Ayn's obsession. The climax of the series is both heart-wrenching and inevitable. Ines' obsession reaches its peak, leading to a confrontation that leaves both characters irrevocably changed. The emotional intensity of these scenes is palpable, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. The aftermath of this confrontation is portrayed with a stark realism. Ines is forced to confront the consequences of her actions, while Hugo must navigate the trauma of their relationship. The series does not shy away from the psychological scars left behind. Ines' journey is one of self-destruction and the desperate need for redemption. The final episodes explore her attempts to make amends, to find a way to live with the choices she has made. It's a powerful exploration of guilt and the human capacity for change. Hugo, on the other hand, emerges as a more mature and wary individual. His innocence shattered, he must find a way to rebuild his life. The series ends on a note of cautious optimism, suggesting that while scars remain, healing is possible. The supporting cast adds depth to the narrative, with each character playing a crucial role in the unfolding drama. From Hugo's concerned friends to Ayn's estranged family, each interaction is laden with significance. The cinematography and direction of Escandalo, Relato di una Obsession are exceptional. The use of lighting, the stark contrasts, and the haunting musical score all contribute to the intense atmosphere of the series. One of the most compelling aspects of this series is its unflinching look at the darker sides of human emotion. It does not offer easy answers or a clear moral path, instead presenting a nuanced exploration of love, obsession, and the fine line between them. 
The series also prompts viewers to reflect on their own perceptions of relationships and mental health. It challenges us to consider how far someone might go to escape loneliness and what happens when love becomes an obsession. Escandalo, Relato de Una Obsession, is a powerful narrative that leaves a lasting impact. Its characters are complex and deeply flawed, making them all the more relatable. The series is a must-watch for anyone interested in psychological dramas. So, if you're looking for a series that will captivate your mind and touch your heart, Escandalo, Relato de Una Obsession is the perfect choice. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Minutes for more in-depth movie and TV series recommendations. Thanks for watching.